Hey guys, so I know you were just talking about taking the fat out of chocolate, where well, we're gonna take some of the stress out of your life. And I'm here with Allison Candelaria, a yoga instructor from here in Oklahoma City, but she's gaining international attention for her knowledge of the body. We've already done two poses this morning. We're gonna go through those and then two, do two more. And then by the end of the show, you'll have five total poses to get you feeling great this summer. So let's start with the first two, Allison, okay? okay? So we're gonna start in warrior two. Okay. Again, your front heel is gonna line up with your back arch and stack your shoulders over your waist. And then from there, we're going to move to tree pose. So just bring your back foot in, and you can either just stand it next to your standing foot, okay. put it on the calf, or if you want to make it just a little bit harder, all the way up to the inner thigh. All right, and so where are we going from tree pose? So after tree pose, we're just going to step this bent leg backwards and come into crescent pose. So you can keep your hands at your hips okay. for just a little bit more simple, hands at heart center, or if you want to, you can inhale and stretch your arms all the way up. Now I'm starting to feel the burn in my quads. I can feel my core kind of sucking in. What are the benefits of crescent pose? So you're getting a lot of strength in your front leg, that hamstring and in the glute, and the back leg's getting a little bit more stretch, but then also some strengthening component to hold you up. So you're really getting kind of both, a balance of strength and flexibility within this pose. Okay, and we're about to do the mama of all poses. What's the next one? Yes, plank pose. So this okay. is a really challenging one for toning the shoulders, for toning the core and the legs. It's a full body experience. So you really want to try to stack your shoulders over your wrist. Okay. And then keep the heels lined up over the balls of the feet and not let your belly sag towards the floor, but keep your hips in line with your shoulders. And of course, the, all yoga poses come with modification. We can always put our knees down if it's a little too intense. Yes. So if you lose the breath in the pose, it's okay. probably a little bit too challenging. So you could just set the knees down, which still okay. get the same benefits. Or if you have any issues in the wrist, you can also come down to your forearms. Okay. So forearms from here. All right, guys, we are in plank right now. We're going to try to hold this until we see you next time. I'm just kidding. But we'll be back <laughs> right after this. Make sure you stay with us for five poses. They're going to make you feel great.